after years of politics being so divisive, there are bright spots across the country. The Brent Spence Bridge is one of them. Bridging the gap between their political parties, U.S. Democratic President Joe Biden and Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell made a rare joint appearance on Wednesday. It was a carefully planned event set against the backdrop of the Brent Spence Bridge, an aging span connecting Covington, Kentucky and Cincinnati, Ohio, due to receive repairs paid for through a bipartisan $1 trillion infrastructure law. And it offered a glimpse of how the White House hopes to govern for the next two years. I wanted to start off the new year at this historic project here in Ohio and Kentucky with the bipartisan group of officials because I believe it sends an important message, an important message to the entire country. We can work together. We can get things done. We can move the nation forward. So today we sit in this wonderful clear day with sun shining down on literally a legislative miracle. McConnell, seeking credit from voters in his home state of Kentucky for the spending project, also stressed the need for Congress to work together for common goals. And this bridge, I think, symbolizes the coming together of both sides on something that both sides thought was important to try to get an outcome. Biden has enjoyed Democratic control of Congress during his first two years in office. But after midterm elections in November, Republicans now control the House and plan to try to stall his agenda and launch investigations into his family and cabinet members. Biden aides are looking to show voters the impact of lawmakers working together, a symbolic and literal bridge in contrast to a chaotic Congress. The Democratic president on Wednesday offered effusive praise for the Republican leader. I'm especially happy to be here with my friend and colleague in many years, and I might add, uh, longest serving leader in the United States Senate, Senator Mitch McConnell. The collegiality on display in Kentucky, a stark contrast with the disarray in D.C. A speaker has not been elected. Hardline Republicans in the House of Representatives on Wednesday blocked the leading Republican nominee's bid for speaker, Kevin McCarthy, yet again. Asked about House Republicans' inability to choose a leader, Biden on Wednesday said, quote, I hope they get their act together.